Hello YouTube, Beatha, you're back another kicking comic book collection update with Naughty Cat. Who you big kitty? Oh, big girl. But uh, yeah, we got lots of cool stuff for you today. First up, a manga, Ultraman Volume 8. Very cool. I love this Ultraman line uh, of books. Uh, we got this Ultraman on the front with that Ultra Brothers mantle. Very cool. Uh, it does seem like we are on our way to getting the Ultra Brothers together. It's very nice. We already got Ace. Jack's obviously going to show up. We got Seven, the original. Very cool. Just very cool. But yeah, so they finish off the Ace Killer Squad and some other stuff goes down. Very nice. And then we have Batman issue 25. This is the extra sized anniversary issue because uh, you get me. But yeah, DC Rebirth, killing it, especially this Batman line. King is killing it. Tom King's got a really great run on Batman. It's still dark, but it's also hopeful, really great balance and tone. So we got the War of Jokes and Riddles. It's the Riddler and the Joker have both kind of lost their passion, and the only way they feel they can get it back is to kill Batman. But uh, there's a bit of a disagreement over who should kill him. So yeah, this is just the first issue of Jokes and Riddles, so we'll see what happens with all that. And then we have My Little Pony Legends of Magic. Not sure if I'm going to continue following this. I'm going to read it through issue 5, and then we'll just see what happens. Uh, but yeah, this one was about this big pony here who like dug a trench with his shovel to drain magma or and stuff, save the town. Whatever. It was whatever. It was a whatever issue. And then we have Spider-Man 2099. My goal is in the future. Uh, and there seems to be another spider hero wearing his costume and his girlfriend Tempest uh, is, has control of her wasp powers or whatever. Uh, and they do some fighting off. Turns out one of the fates is behind everything. One of the freaking Greek fates. Pretty dope. Uh, he finds out he's dead, which is why she can't cut his thread of life. And this spider wearing his old costume is actually his son, which is pretty cool. So yeah, let's flip that out of the way. And then we have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 16. So they finally beat Lord Dracon here. Uh, very awesome villain. Uh, seems like he's going to have a return at some point also. But uh, yeah, I feel like it mostly wraps that stuff up. Trini becoming the Black Dragon and all kinds of awesome stuff. The Rangers get their powers back, etc. And then My Little Pony Friendship is Magic number 55. A fleet of dragons attacks the Yaks. Honestly, I don't really watch the show, so this was a bit confusing. Apparently, Pinky is an honorary yak, which I didn't know about. And I don't know a single thing about this dragon character. But apparently, she was supposed to make the dragons more peaceful, but she's leading them in battle against the yaks. I don't know what's up yet. Uh, obviously, we got to wait for part two. But uh, then we have the unbelievable Gwynpool, number 17. I actually really enjoy Gwynpool. So she's stuck in her world, but it's still a comic book world, so she can see, like her text boxes and all this stuff, and she, but she got a job at a movie theater. Uh, her uh, doctor thinks she tried to kill herself because she fell out a window that a text box knocked her out of. You know, all that Gucci. I really like Gwynpool. I'll probably cancel it, which will be fine, but I, I do enjoy it. I hope they keep, keep her character around. Then we have Ben Riley, the Scarlet Spider, number two. I don't think I like this book. I don't know. I, I'm mostly reading it to follow the adventures of Kane at this point. But uh, Ben Riley's new kind of... You know, he's He was the jackal in Clone Conspiracy. And that was really cool. I really liked that. And then he's just off-puttingly crazy in this. It's bad. It's a bad book. It really is a bad book. This is kind of a bad costume. Actually, the costume's not bad, but that mouth is. Blah. So yeah, that's all weird. And he promises he can cure this lady who's going to kill him's daughter, but he can't. So, uh, But yeah, Kane's tracking him, and he gets this suit back in the end of this. He takes it off a fan. Kind of steals it from him. Ah, it's whatever. Didn't want to draw much attention to himself, but now he's wearing his old costume, so... Yeah, but I think the next issue, he and Kane actually end up fighting. And I really want to see that, because I actually really like Kane. But right now, I'm not caring for Ben Riley. And now we're going to get into graphic novels. Uh, I don't, you know, I haven't read the ones I'm going to show you yet. 
uh, just because I wanted to get this out of the way. Plus, I'll do reviews of these eventually on my Godzilla and Gigan channel. Oh, you're naughty. Oh, little kitty cat. Uh, so, yeah, Nightwing Volume 2, Back to Bloodhaven. Very cool. Nightwing's being framed or whatever for crimes he didn't commit. He's got to sort all that stuff out. I really enjoyed Volume 1 of Nightwing, so hopefully Volume 2 will ooh, be just as good. And then we have Team Titans Volume 1, Damien Knows Best. I actually hear this isn't too great, but I wanted to try it out for myself. I hear Damien's really off-putting in it. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big Damien Wayne fan anyways. But I am very interested to see what Wally West and, ah, what Wally West and Raven are up to. Because I, I love this Kid Flash and Raven. So that's cool. I really want to... <laughs> She's feisty. Check all that out. And then... Stop. <laughs> Al Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, Volume 2, Bottled Light. Uh, they're fighting Larfleas in this one. Once again, cannot wait to check it out. Ooh, kitty, kitty. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I'm really excited. Volume 1 was enjoyable. And we have Suicide Squad, Volume 2. Uh, I actually enjoyed Suicide Squad, Volume 1, despite this title being bad throughout the New 52. Volume 1 wasn't bad. Uh, hopefully, Volume 2 won't be either. It seems like... Uh, Everyone goes insane except Harley Quinn, who goes sane uh, because of the Black Vault and junk. But I wanted to read this before I kind of got into uh... Badoom Suicide Squad versus Justice League. So, yeah. Oh, well, actually, Justice League versus Suicide Squad. My bad. This is the first major event of DC Universe Rebirth. Uh, I got this from my local comic shop. The rest of those graphic novels came from uh, Barnes and Noble. Yeah, you gotta support the comic shop, too. But, uh... Yeah, hopefully this will be good. Maxwell Lord has his own team in this also to take out both teams, and it kind of spins out into Justice League of America, which I'm definitely gonna read. I already read the collection of one-shots for it, so that's really awesome. But, uh... Yeah, quick recap. We have the hardcover Justice League versus Suicide Squad graphic novel, or... I mean, it's technically not a graphic novel, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Uh, Suicide Squad, Volume 2, Going Sane. Hal Jordan and the... <laughs> Green Lantern Corps, Volume 2, Bottled Light. We have Teen Titans, Volume 1, Damien Knows Best. Nightwing, Volume 2, Back to Bloodhaven. And then into single issues, we have Ben Riley the Scarlet Spider, Issues 3, Ben Riley the Scarlet Spider, Issue 2, which weren't very, you know, good. The Unbelievable Gwynpool 17, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, Number 55, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Number 16, Spider-Man 2099, Number 24, My Little Pony Legends of Magic, Number 2, Batman, Number 25, Extra Sized Anniversary Issue, and for manga, Ultraman Volume 8. So yeah, that's it everyone. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. That is it. Thank you all once again, and I'll be seeing you all later.